Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back. It is Builds here today and we are continuing with the Mansion Let's Build. So finally my cold is gone. I can actually commentate and give you guys another part. So this part is pretty interesting. I've already done three plans. So everything has been built for you guys. I just have to show you what it builds. So it's nice and simple and easy for you to follow. So let's get started and I'll show you guys some of the awesome stuff I have included and modified in this place. So, if we just get down over here, we have a brand new dining table. You know, building on camera, you got to kind of think fast, place blocks as quickly as possible to save time, because you know that upload time can be a pretty big bitch if uh, you don't have fast internet on your hands. So, actually, let me just get rid of this. It's just going to kill me. Uh, right over here, what we have is we have a brand new design of dining table. So, I know you guys, you will love their measurements, so let's start off. One, two, three on the fourth block, one block in. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks of snow layers. And now we have these repeated in a symmetrical pattern. So you come across one, another one, and then forwards two. You have another seat. You repeat on the other side. These are separated by four blocks. And then yet again, that symmetrical, that side's layout. In the middle here, we are greeted with a one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 by 3 dining table, which once again is one away from the other side over here. And this is made up of, of course, snow layers. We have two glass panes here on each side with a one gap between the overhang of the table. We then have some oak wood logs just placed in the middle. There should be four of these. And to cover them ugly see-through tops of the panes, I just included some brown carpet which is a very quick easy solution to actually do it and actually matches quite well with the wood and I generally think it looks pretty good. We included some flower pots just on the top here just to act as drinking mugs, you know you're going for that realism. Of course, you know in places like here we still do need to do a little bit of work, I just don't feel that the detail is quite up to the level of standards that we need through here I looked back and I was like you know what these seating areas they're a bit derpy I don't really think they're that fantastic so I went ahead and changed them to these new modified seats I think these are the first ever seats to be designed just as I'm showing you now came up with these on the spot and Jesus I'm pretty proud I think this looks pretty amazing so this is so you start off with two dark oak wood slabs in the middle and to note they should be two in one back and then in these two positions just away here so that is one position away from the snow <laughs> a lot of measurements to take in place here guys so you have to place two of these on this side you have to two snow layers which should be two slates above the height of a slab backing it you have some more snow layers one height above the height of a slab and at the back you have another snow layer pattern which should be three in height of a slab. So we have two of these chairs with a free spacing block in between them. We then are greeted with a brand new design of kind of lounger sofa which is four blocks away which is eight in height. Let's just test this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, it was one off. Eight in height and this is three wide and one, two, three, four, five long. Just like that. Then you drop down two slabs so that gives you five layers of height of snow. Uh, you make a little L shape, which is one, two, three, four by two, and then you include some more of these dark oak wood slabs, and you should place three of them. We've kept the same design layout, of course, two sofas, symmetrical, just switch around in positioning, and that looks fantastic. I mean, look at the improvement, guys. I can see a big improvement. Over here, new lounger sofa. You know, I was, I was looking at it, I was like, mm, we modified it once, still looked a bit dark. I was like, yeah, we need to change this. So I changed it just a pure snow lounger chair, and this is one, two, three in height, four in height, five in height, and it is two wide, so you just repeat the pattern, just like so. Behind here, I also changed these to some nether brick stairs. Now, guys, I know your nether act is probably going to look red and a bit crappy. Like I said, this texture pad will be released. I just got to get around to doing all the stuff. You know, we still need to tweak a few more things, but, you know, we're pretty much there, and I'm pretty happy with this texture pack so far it's coming along nicely uh, so I replaced these with let's just say stone stairs and I've got some flower pots with some dandelions on top just to give it a nice more natural kind of feel to the place moving up top now to the next level 
yes that is right we've got started on level 2 now we are greeted with a oak wood slab kind of lounger and this is 3 away 1, 2, 3 in length and it consists of 6 oak wood slabs just backed with some oak wood stairs like that and now let's get into a really nice little attention to detail feature that I decided to include so up here you may remember we did have a skylight you know see for a bit in the ceiling which just lets through some nice natural lighting which I really did like the idea of but kind of screwed up the design aspect in the first stage so this has been put back again so this is one two three four five actually no four and then it hits a beam to enter the next door it continues two through but has one block of glass you know above it just like this It's held by some signs which is a really nice little feature that I included I kind of acted as it as a protractor so say it's a really nice sunny day uh, you can just protract the glass all the way back to here and just look up at the best sky I think that's a pretty cool little feature and you know it starts raining you just put it back up again that was the design idea for that so stepping into the office we are greeted yet again with some more snow layers you know we're loving these right now so one here and then two all the way around guys and we just have one snow layer here then in this corner here we have some stone slabs, two of them, and notice how it looks more sleek. Adding these snow layers makes all the different materials look different in height which gives it a nicer appeal and I personally really do like it. In the back here we have some oak wood stairs, three of them, two curved around and one in the middle. Sorry guys, just had a cough there. Uh, and then we have some smooth sandstone which is two away from the wall. Uh, we can now continue with some oak slabs, four of these, two in length. And then just to finish off, we have some more smooth sandstone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them blocks. We have a feature wall as well, not to mention with grey wall included, you can use grey stained clay just to try and find something that you personally feel looks modern and pretty cool. I chose this block, I'm pretty happy with it on my texture back, I think it's amazing. So this is one, two, three, four, five wide and of course a consistency of height as the ceiling. Not to mention, we have a little painting here. I thought, you know, it's red wine, it looks pretty classy, it will match his, you know, pretty modern, nice looking office. Uh, for the seat, very simple, some quartz blocks at the back, three of them, some two quartz slabs, and then slightly higher raised quartz layers, not quartz layers, snow layers, what am I saying? And they're just one below the slab. You know, so they stand out a little bit. And as the off is pretty much done, not to mention, we have a nice little laptop here, which is just a pressure plate with an item frame clicked on the back of there, with a sign saying my building company name, you know, builds.co. Look pretty cool. We have a flower pot, which could be acted as a pen pot, or, you know, a drinking mug. We have a coffee maker machine, which is just a quartz down the back, like so. For, no, what am I saying? Three signs around it with one of these redstone thingies on top which does look pretty cool I have to say getting into our part which I know a lot of you guys are going to like we have a games room including a luxury owl shaped sofa with a red awesome mat a curved LG TV this is going to be one of them 4k ones and then indoor skating ramp how cool is that guys so your room layout should look something like this just the way that we've designed the building and I've got to say I'm pretty impressed so starting off one away from the wall here, you're going to want to make one, two, three, four, five in height of oak blocks. Then you're going to want to continue this three, three long, and then four slabs. And you know, guys, the uh, pattern is symmetrical, so I'm just going to explain this side. So once you've had these, you have some stairs, and as you can see, the layout should look something like this. Let me just go over the blocks to give you guys a clear overview of what should be happening. Like I said, it's symmetrical. We then have a big black rug. And this consists, it's just one block in from the ramp and finishes right up against this wall and consists of the whole width of the room. Then if we come in one block, this is where we start a red carpet and we just come two, three, four. And this should come across one, two, three, four, five blocks. And once you've done that, you can just place a, a stony looking sofa across, a one, two, three, four wide and three long. With just some snow slates, one below that slab level in the middle there, just to fill that gap. And then just a stone slab uh, kind of footrest. It's not going to be the most comfortable sofa, but it does look pretty cool. 
coming across here. I made a little bush feature, you know. God, I love them bushes. Uh, that I've always used them on builds, thanks to Corrales, and I just think it looks nice, you know. It adds a bit more detail, looks modern. Uh, if you ever go to a modern house, they generally have some kind of like leaf feature. You know, they have like little plants and stuff around the place. It looks quite nice, so I included that. Two away from the ramp here, and two in, we start our rug, which is one, two, three, four, five, six in width. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in length, and it has two cutouts just shown one block in, and these just lead through to the normal snow, which is just far behind. It just you know adds a nice little feature. Over here, we have two blocks of iron, which are one, two, three blocks in. Uh, we have two neverack brick stairs like again I said use something like stone you have a flower pot with a little fern inside just to add you know that nice natural feel coming to right here we have two more bush features one block in and these are oak leaves which on flows HD which is where these are taken from look absolutely great so I'd highly recommend using them walking in a snow layer separating the room giving it a nicer feel that feature will follow through which really does look quite stunning uh, we have a simple black wall, this is proper old school sofas and this is uh, 3, 4 in width and 1, 2, 3, 4 in length. We have some snow slates, 1, 2, 3, 4 in height with a little quartz kind of foot rest that just starts here which is two blocks in. Try and get these measurements on point for you guys, I know some people are going to get stuck and I do uh, I do wish you guys can help each other out in the comment section if anyone does get stuck with any measurements of course if I'm a bit of an idiot then I will help you guys all out but coming in one block from here and uh, three blocks four blocks in uh, we have a little rail feature which is three in length and consists all the way to the height of the ceiling we have this two by two by two slab walk-in feature so you can easily just walk up to where the bedroom is going to be so let's get into this so we have a snow layer two snow layers leading up to some neverack brick slabs covering the whole area i would just do that straight away guys easy start and then bordering this out we have a one two three four five six uh by one two three four five six uh layers of snow which should be one layer higher than a slab uh, they also continue round here back to the wall and then we drop down two slates and this kind of leads out to the outdoor balcony which we'll get into in a minute. We then have a black uh, wool bed, one, two, three, four, five, six, six in length with some carpet just to act as a pillow and I see this designer bed all over the place. I really do like it how it's so simple but it looks fantastic. We have a little fireplace here and guys if you can turn melting off for some reason the command that stops melting on this server will not stop this snow from melting. You can do it anywhere else on the world. But yet in this spot, snow will not stay. We don't know why. It's actually really confusing why it's doing that. But I just had to add slabs, but I'd highly recommend you add about, let's just get some snow out to show you guys. Uh, I'd add this much snow. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd add six layers of snow. See how much more sleep that looks like than the quartz slabs, but unfortunately, that guy right there will melt, so we're going to have to get rid of him and replace it back with some slabs. Getting through to this wall, we have a fireplace which consists of some black stained clay, two in length and all the way up to the ceiling. So it also comes across on the way down, leaving just two blocks here. But we have some black stained glass panes, one, two, three, four, four in width, and they come out one as a little handle, so you know you can just pull it across and whatever. And then at the bottom here we have some black stained glass. In the middle here there's of course some neverack with some fire, making a really nice little modern fireplace. So, now that's been said, let's get into the balcony. Some nice little chairs here, very sleek, just like the ones down below that I designed a little while ago. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six in height with seven at the back of uh, some snow slates. We then have oak wood slabs, and this is just one away from here. I'm going to show you guys where they should be positioned. You're going to have two of them in the symmetrical pattern, two away from the balcony here, and just a little black stained glass pane holding some carpet, just to act as a small little table. You know, you can like sit and like, you know, drink while looking over the pool, and you know, not bad views here. But of course, this house was designed to be uh, laid out in somewhere like LA. 
So this is a lot of explaining. Hopefully you guys are really going to like this episode. I put a lot of work into it. It's a main cut from, you know, the kind of repeated misses on my channel. So we're going to come out four blocks here. And just to get a head start, quote the whole balcony area, guys, in normal carpet. What this will do, because I'm using shaders, uh, Zeus shaders, it literally blinds you so badly. To, like, the amount of snow on this build, just like... You know, you can see how intense it is, even with carpet. So just carpet this whole section off, guys. All around here, as you can see where I'm pointing, it should be all covered in carpet. So, what I'm going to explain now is I'm going to explain the hot tub, which is pretty cool, I have to say. It's one of them infinity ones. Coming in, two, three, four, five, six blocks. You can start off with some oak wood uh, four blocks. You just come two, three, four in. You come one more. Then you have a stair like that, so you can step in and out of the hot tub. Then it continues with one, two, three, four more blocks. Then one, two, three. Put a lever here as a tap, and just continue it to the glass pane, so you know you can view out onto them beautiful views. Right behind here, so you should finish here. So just come one out, two, three. This is where you start with some sand. We have a little mini bar here, which I thought was a nice little feature. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks wide by one, two, three. With two block wide uh, sand there. We then have some little counters up here, which are just there's two sandstone ones with some signs on. What I just did was I added the signs just to give it a little bit more detail, I guess. And we just have some normal black carpet to whack to some shelving units. And because we have carpet underneath, it's very easy just to place three of them there. We then put some item frames down with some bottles of water inside. And that is just to, you know, show your drink selection. Of course, you're going to have more than two, but, you know, this is Minecraft. And it was just them and enchanting bottles, which for some reason on Zeus kind of glitch out. So we explained this little part over here in the previous video. So let's get over to the brand new seating area, which I do think is looking pretty awesome. So we come over this block, come back one and then two, then we start our area. So this light grey carpet will surround the area. So let's just mark off the perimeter. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks wide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So fill that area with light grey carpet. Now, we have exactly the identical seating areas for over there, which as you know are 6 layers here, 7 layers here with oak wood slabs here. What I did to add a little bit more detail is I just took the carpet area out of this section here just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Go Coming from two blocks across from this area here guys we have a 2x2 two two little seating area uh, you know you could I guess you could class it actually as a footstool or a small table and that is just positioned here sorry about that I had to cough again we come across number two we now have some more snow which is just three in height and then four in height and this is just a small little seat you know you can just sit here look through to the bedroom looks pretty cool and we've repeated the pattern of both sides guys so it is symmetrical as you can see the mansion is really starting to take place now you know i had to design this whole side by myself i gotta say so far i'm pretty pleased it's looking pretty nice pretty awesome and i'm pretty chuffed with it so hopefully guys we can have a new video out within the next few days. I'm planning a really cool little tutorial tonight. So stick around for that. It's on a Nissan GTR. I know you guys are going to love that. So remember smack the video a like. Go comment down below what your views on this house are. And I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoy my content want to see more. Smack that subscribe button like there's no tomorrow. And I have new content coming your way. Thank you for watching and stay active. It's built here. I'll see you in the next episode.